A lot of people have been asking about the comment I made about stitching things together in Photoshop. I use ViewScan. It's a program you can buy that uses any kind of scanner and you can purchase it at a URL that I will put in in the description of this video. Anyway, here is what it looks like and I am going to scan a sketch that I made on just plain drawing paper. I went to a life drawing class. Anyway, if you look up in this section here, you can see it has all these different things that you can use to look at your scans and before you scan them in. And click on the preview and it will scan my sketch. And the sketch is larger than the area of my scan bed. So, as you can see here, I have it set to magazine instead of a color or black and white photo. And I do that because I like to get rid of the texture of the paper. And I found that setting it to magazine works the best, especially on when I'm scanning in my watercolor paintings. And I will use this little pointer here to select the area I want scanned. And if you can see here, this is where the lip of the scanner is and it's making a shadow. So I avoid scanning that area. And I make sure I have lots of extra space around there. And I hit scan. and it pops up some, where you want to save it. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. I have a new folder and we'll call this July Life Sketching. And I will call this July Life Sketching Spelling Couch sketching and that is the bottom and I will save it and it will pop up in Photoshop okay and then I will adjust my paper to scan the other half of the image on the scan bed we'll hit preview And see it brings in the top of the scan and now it's on the right side where the shadow is. So I check the previous scan and yes I have enough so that there's an overlap and it's the same size top to bottom so that's good. One thing I forgot before if you go into the color section you can see it changes the color here and I am using auto balance and it brings it up to nice white you can play around with all of these different settings you can also do a manual setting and it it's very good to do all kinds of color correction before you bring it into Photoshop so I'm gonna add a little bit more here so I don't cut off the date and I'm gonna scan it and it will ask me to save it. And I'm going to call this July Life Sketching Top. And it will bring it up into Photoshop. And now I'm done with my scanner. And the scanner I am using is an Epson Perfection V600 Photo. So we're done with the view scan program. So I'll close out of that. And now I have these two images, the bottom and the top, in Photoshop. And go underneath File to Automate. And at the very bottom of Automate, 
It's called Photo Merge. And then you select the files you want to Photo Merge. And I'm doing Add All Open Files because I have the two open that I want to do. And you have all of these different selections. And I'll cho choose Auto so I don't have to think about it too much. And I'll click OK. And Photoshop will think about it and put it together. You can see it's working on it. And it's thinking. We got our little timer there going. And it's put it together. And if you look over here, you see there's the top and the bottom. And at this point, I will flatten the image. And then I will do a Save As. And I will call it July Life Sketching. And I will save that. And then I will turn it right side up. And there we have it. That's how you patch things together in Photoshop using the ViewScan Scanner plugin.